Since we're a mile from the shore, it is a great place to study marine science and to study the real environment. Jim Nichols, who's our marine scientist, teaches a course in field methods. So the students are not only learning about marine biology, but they're actually learning how to study in the field, which I think is fantastic. The urban coast has helped facilitate and provide capacity for the marine environmental biology and policy program to provide some more field-related activities. I was able to do my senior thesis on underwater archaeology on some of the local wrecks around here, um, thanks to their technology, particularly the ROV, the side scan, and the, the boat, and also Jim's experience with a lot of different underwater archaeology projects in the past he's done, allowed me to really do this project. We bring in students not only from Monmouth, but actually from other institutions, to study here in the summer. A lot of schools don't have this opportunity. So kids from other universities or high schools come here to do their research. Through the Urban Coast Institute, the Heidi Lynn Sculthorpe Summer Research Grant Programs, we provide funding for students to do student research over the summer with a faculty mentor. All these research opportunities stem from having the support of the Urban Coast Institute. I sat down with Tony and my advisor, Dr. Medley. Basically, Tony said the Urban Coast Institute can cover our share of the bill in order for this research to continue, which is, which is great. His project, working with uh, Dr. Tiffany Medley, is looking at um, oyster beds in and around New York Harbor. We're going to try to find either an actual oyster reef or potentially just maybe individual oysters subtitly. So we're going to be utilizing the Urban Coast Institute. We're playing a part in it by providing vessel support, um, side scan sonar, um, some data interpretation for him, and ultimately using our ROV to go down and look at some of these sites. It's difficult to go into these waters. Normally, you're not going to scuba down to try to find them. So we need the equipment that the UCI has to essentially map the river bottom there and see if you can actually find uh, an actual living oyster reef. Having the personnel from the Urban Coast Institute who provide all these great opportunities, if they weren't here, then we would just be another college campus. We would just be another university. They really provide a good outlet and good support for the students here who actually do research.